the tower. I used to be a springboard diver, and the one thing I had to concentrate on was the timing of the springboard to get the height to complete the rotations of the dive. We're going to be heading right up to the 10-meter tower, where it takes a different breed of diver to dive the 10-meter event, one that is courageous and thrill-seeking. On a technical note, these divers need a high vertical jump to get the height to complete their dive, but also a strong upper body to endure the impact time and time again of entering the water. After all, it is 33 feet high, which is comparable to a four-story building, and they only have 1.5 seconds to complete their dive at 35 miles an hour. If they make a mistake, it'll feel like they're slamming into a brick wall at 10,000 pounds of force on impact. This event is unforgiving and no place for cowards. Showing all the right stuff, including courage, Alexander Despati has a huge lead on Tony Revit and Christopher Kalik after the first of six dives in the final round. Remembering the top two go to Sydney. This is Alex Despati, who turned 15 in June. And since winning gold at the 98 Commonwealth Games, he's grown six inches and put on 30 pounds. That was a fantastic dive. His mom, Christian, is liking it. Same with his coach, Michelle LaRouche. Alex has grown a lot, but he's gotten strength and he's working on his speed. Just doing the back two and a half somersaults tuck, we'll be able to see the height he gets off the tower. Right there, a strong jump, getting in a compact tuck to complete the three and a half rotations. Alex is going to be pleased with this dive. Remember, the perfect score in diving is a 10. And if you were giving scores to mom, she'd get a 10 right there for that cheer. But the best Alex can do is one nine, two eights and a halves, and four eights for a total of 81.18 on the dive. That is a good total. And after two of six dives, Alex ups his lead to 45 over the second place diver. But Tony Revit now leads Kalik by five points in the battle for that all important second position. This is the third of six for 20-year-old Christopher Kalik from Laval, Quebec, fourth on 10-meter at this year's Winter Nationals. Chris will be doing the same dive we've just seen his teammate Alexander Despati do, a back three and a half somersaults tuck with a degree of difficulty 3.3. That was a strong dive by Chris, but a miss. There's Isabel, his, the assistant coach, Camo, cheering him on. The one thing I want you to look for is his deep knee bend off the tower, giving him the height to make this dive. Right there, a deep knee bend, getting into a small tuck, but he's finishing it high above the water and going beyond the three and a half somersaults, bringing up a splash the judges see. Knock off the high and one of the lows and multiply by the DD after adding up the rest, and you get 65.24 for Christopher Kalik on that dive. This is 27-year-old Tony Revit from Delta, BC. At the Diving Grand Prix event in Vienna this winter, he scored a big win, his first international victory on tower. Tony's gonna be doing a very difficult reverse three and a half somersaults tuck. It's difficult because he has to get away from the tower, spinning backwards three and a half times. Oh, that's another miss. Tony has missed that dive, not completing the three and a half rotations. His jump wasn't strong enough, and if we look closely, I'd like to see the distance on this dive. He could be a bit too far out. Right there, the jump is great, and the distance a little out, but right there, he's kicking too early, not completing the three and a half rotations. A big mistake by Tony. At major international competitions, seven, seven and a halfs are considered good. Alex Despati, the world junior champion in... First three and a half somersaults tuck, the dive we've just seen Tony complete. Not a bad dive by Alex. He's going to have to improve it at the Olympics. His coach, Michelle LaRouche, knows that. He has the strength now. On and the height to get off the tower and do the dive, Alex disappointed with it. The entry is the only thing he could really improve on. Right here is getting a strong jump and getting into the tuck, completing the three and a half rotations, 
but freeing up a splash from his shoulders on the water. Not sure if Alex was unhappy with his dive. The fourth of six dives for Christopher Kalik. Nine points up on Revit in second place. Kalik's best finish on the Grand Prix circuit this year was fourth on 10 meter in Vienna. Chris is going to be doing the same dive we just seen Tony miss, the reverse three and a half somersaults tuck. He knows now that he could take the lead if he does this dive well. That was incredible. That was magical. The entry we see his coach, Michelle LaRouche, all of the camo coaches are happy with that. What I like the most is the magic on that entry. We call it a rip entry. Going in the water with zero splash. I can't believe Chris knows what this dive means. It was the best dive of the whole competition for him right there, that strong knee bend. The tuck could be better, but this entry is magical. Very little splash, only white water. This is the view the diver will see counting the water three times before kicking out and getting the vertical entry. Timing is everything in diving, and Kalix is perfect. Four eights, three eight and a halfs, 83.64 on the dive for Christopher Kalix. Now, Tony Revit, second on 10 meter at the Winter Nationals, six on top. Depati by 44 over Kalix. A bit of a slip there, but Christopher has opened up a 22 point lead on Tony Revit for second place. Four years ago, Welcome back to Montreal as we await the final dives on Men's Tower. It's Depati by 30 points over Kalik. Tony Revit down by 32 will need some help. A miss by Kalik would go a long way towards improving his chances of heading down under. Here's Isabel, the assistant coach of Camo. She knows what this means to Chris. He's about to do a back one and a half somersaults with three and a half twists. It is a relatively easy dive for Chris because of his long limbs. He has long arms, and th when he wraps them up, he'll be able to have a very fast three and a half twist. Carries a degree of difficulty of 3.2. I liked the twist, but what um, what I have to say is he hit the water with a loose stomach, with an arch in his back, which gave a splash. His coach, the assistant coach, Isabel, was happy with it, although Christopher knows he can do it better. He has a strong, strong jump right here in the arms. We're going to see wrapping up the three and a half twists. He should tighten up his stomach going in the water so he won't create a big splash. Seven judges at poolside, and they give him two six and a halfs, four sevens, one seven and a half for a total of 66.24. He finishes with just over a thousand points. Since the beginning, Alexander Depati. Alexander is one dive away from realizing his dream. Going to the Olympics. That was a great dive, a good dive, the same as Tony and Chris's, the back one and a half somersaults with three and a half twists. He did it. He just needed to land on the water. There's his mother. She's quite happy, relieved. The marks for Depati, five eights, one eight and a half, one seven and a half. He finishes a competition at 1,043 points. 41 points up on his camo teammate, Christopher Kalak. And here's a great moment. What a great sight. A big hug from Alex for his Sydney teammate, Christopher Kalek. Here's Terry. Olympic Games. Christopher Kalek, Alexandre Fati, Michelle LaRouche, get in here. That's the coach, and here are the guys that are going in the 10 meter platform. Christopher Kalek, what does it mean to you? Oh, I think everything, everything I've ever put together, all, like, all the years of work, I mean, it comes down to this moment, and oh my God, I don't know how to say anything. I, just, <laughs> I got I'm, no words. I'm not going to ignore you, coach, but let me bring in the big guy here, he's all of 15, folks. Alexandre Depati, you're going off to the Olympic Games. You're a Commonwealth Games champion. What does it mean to go to Sydney? Uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true. I mean, it's it's all I ever, it's, it's all I wanted to do, and and it's a plus to do with my teammates. So I'm very proud of them. Wait, Michelle, come here. You're not going to get away that easily. What do you think of your students? Well, it couldn't be better. I mean, I'm very happy, and having both athletes on the Olympic team, it's just a, it's, it's just a dream come true. It's great. Congratulations to Alexander Depati, Christopher Kalik. They're off to the Olympics, representing Canada in the big board, the platform.
And Terry, the big man on the big board, was indeed Alexandre Depati, 41 points clear of his camo teammate, Christopher K.